Every single day from the beginning of 2019, I began a commitment and challenge to myself to post every single day on Instagram. I did this for a number of reasons, but one of them was to improve my psychology and mental health and whole mental approach towards the internet and social media. And I've noticed dramatic, significant improvements and changes in how I approach social media and my overall health towards it. And I just feel like documenting and sharing that here because I think it may be resourceful for some. If not, it's just a way for me to document uh, my process. I wanted to improve my relationship with social media and the internet, something I use I use a lot uh, through all the brands and businesses that, that I, I run and use and help and manage. And so I mean, I mean ensconced in it. And it's sometimes hard, challenging to detach and you can get very psychologically wound up in the outcome of a of social media you 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 are constantly hit with these uh, dopamine hits of notifications and engagements and views and all the superficialities that are associated with the internet and social media and i decided to take a different approach instead of going detoxing myself away from social media like many people do and they just take one two three one year breaks whatever i decided because i i fantasize about that too just deleting everything but i decided to take the opposite approach decided to go all in and decide, okay, I'm gonna challenge myself here. Let, let me make a commitment, let me make a habit. Let's see what happens. And I've been doing that for the last nearly 80 days. And while this may not be technically a long period of time, I didn't know how exactly how long I would do this for. Uh, I really just intuitively and feel thing, I might've done it for, a, I think I thought about a year, maybe six months, maybe a month. But now we're here and I've, begun, I've, I've got to the realization that <sighs> through reflection that the things that I'm sharing, I'm sharing pieces of myself here, as many of you have, have seen on, on Instagram and many of you are watching on, on YouTube and Facebook, uh, uh, I've been doing on Instagram. And it's been meaningful in some ways, but in most ways, it doesn't seem very purposeful and I feel like I can be uh, having, I don't know, it, it feels a bit empty in some ways. You know, it's nice to share pieces of your soul and heart of your of your travels around the world and your relationships with the people you care about. But I feel like I, I could I could do something with a bit more a meaning and, and and responsibility and and give back in in a bit more uh, purposeful way. However, I want to document and talk about some of the changes that have been happening that I think many will may take interest in and may find this approach resourceful for them. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned through this process is the importance of not letting one's self-worth, self-esteem or identity get wrapped up in, in the things you share on the internet, the identity you form on the internet. I feel like at times in the past, and I think many people can relate to this, you get almost caught up with the dopamine hit that's associated with sharing uh, on the internet and social media and it can either it goes two ways for me and I feel like it can go two ways for, for, for a lot of people it can either heighten your neuroticism which means you're sensitive to your sensitivity towards negative emotion or it can lower it and thankfully I found now it's lowered my sensitive to sensitivity to negative emotion after going through this for nearly 80 days but however in the start uh, during the the first phase month one to two months of this I noticed uh, to be honest, like you, you almost like, eh, why is this shit? Why, why didn't this? Why didn't this get more likes? You know, and you talk about likes, like who the, f who gives a fuck, right? Logically, who cares? I get it, but we wrap ourselves up and we get psychologically intertwined with these systems, with the internet and social media, and you get caught up. Some people are able to stay detached and only share things every once in a while. That's fine, but a lot of people are, are caught up and addicted. And so I wanted to test myself and see psychologically how I would, how would, I, how would I change and how I could maneuver through uh, this chaos and mess of social media and how I can improve my relationship with it. And I've found it's had dramatic benefits. Like I feel like I care so much less about the outcome. I don't care. Like I don't care if it gets any anybody sees it or anybody likes it whether physically likes it or actually likes it in reality like and this is empowering to me because i don't care like it's great like i'm gonna put this out there because i want to because i want to share and i and 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 i and i i know and i know 
other people are interested in this and other people feel the same because I've seen them and I've spoken to them and I speak to them on a daily basis. And so it's quite liberating. That's, that's the, one of the biggest things, being liberating to uh, do what I want and not feel attached to an outcome. Another significant lesson that I've learned about myself from posting for nearly 80 days straight on Instagram here is I've noticed at the beginning an apprehension to share pieces of myself, of my, of, of my heart, my soul, my stories, who I am, you know, being vulnerable even through a screen is, can be daunting at times, you know, because once you put something out there, you can't really unsay it and people can't really unhear it. And so I've been able to get over this fear of judgment through the process of just daily, just get daily consistency of putting myself out there uh, through this platform um, in, in, front of, in, in front of the world, specifically in front of people that I care about. I care about a lot of the people, a lot of the people who, who follow me here on Instagram, that they're, they're close friends of mine and, and I care about their perspective of me because I, I respect them and uh, I, you want to be a good person and as much as you know, you, I might say like, I don't care or people say, I don't care what people think. I do care what people think and I don't care what people think. It's important. So that's how I've, it's a lesson, another lesson that I've learned maneuvering through this, 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 this chaos of, uh, of consistent social media posting. Uh, I feel a lot of people are afraid to share pieces of themselves. They have a lot to say. They feel a lot. They think a lot, but they never let it out. There's never this catharsis where they can let out their thoughts and ideas to the world. And you, you realize that, hey, a lot of people are actually thinking and feeling what you're thinking and feeling. And, and I've learned that through uh, things like uh, when I've been doing on YouTube and, and I've seen that. Um, and so that conversation has occurred in my head uh, many times about this that this fear to expose yourself uh, to discomfort and vulnerability. Um, but I think it's important. It can, it can have grand consequence. It can inspire others. It can, it can help yourself uh, maneuver through your own uh, chaos of your minds. And I think that's powerful. Um, you know, technology. I've learned that technology is the opportunity for us to bear our souls and mind. That may sound, even you say that, it's like, what? What do you mean? Like bear our souls and mind? Like I really believe that. I mean, that might sound cringeworthy or silly to some people. I just don't care. Like it's just another byproduct of this, of this consistency of daily posting. You just, you just, all right. Yeah. Sometimes you say some weird things. Sometimes you say some things people don't understand. That's okay. Like, I feel like we, we all need to learn that. Um, Cause there's that voice that inside your head that, you know, that tells you that, that, that little voice of insecurity and, uh, it, you know, social media really emphasizes and brings that voice of insecurity to the light. And you have to face it or you drown it out and you just, you just, uh, you, you, you flood yourself in a bunch of superficialities. And like, I think what I'm trying to say is that people keep up this facade of who they want to be perceived as instead of who they actually are and, and bearing their vulnerability and bearing their soul and heart because that's when you find out and learn about yourself and that's a component of what I've learned uh, through this process which has been quite surprising. I didn't, I didn't expect uh, to go through this process uh, but it's been very resourceful for me and at the end of the day, you know, it comes down to the feeling of being judged by others. I put my hand up and like, yeah, it's not a nice feeling. You know, everyone feels it. We, we try and suppress it so, but social media has like been a magnifying glass. It's hypersensitized us to neuroticism, so negative emotion and insecurity and feelings of judgment. And so by this consistent process of consistently posting, it's like, yes, I can get through that. I can like, instead of detoxing myself, I can just go straight into the water and like drown myself in it. And then that's it. I have nowhere to go but to like face it. And it's like, I face myself through like this insecurity and it's great because now it's, I've, I've been able to handle it. And I can handle it and I don't care anymore. And it's like, cool. Now I can just be me. Now I can just do everything that I want to do. And so now that's what I'm going to do. I don't feel sharing my documenting my travels like this is, is, is as meaningful as it could be. 
uh, compared to what I want to do and what I've been doing in other platforms like YouTube and Facebook because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shift away from that because uh, I want to and I'm going to start documenting all of my ideas and thoughts on philosophy and psychology and human behavior and all the book summaries I'm doing and the things you see in my Instagram stories and the powerful quotes that, that, that have changed me and all the, all, the, all the men and women that are inf influencing me in my life and how I'm growing into the person that I envision to be and I want to be and I'm just going to start documenting that and quite a few of you won't like it and quite a few of you will love it and quite a few of you won't care and won't follow. Cool, I don't care. And that's okay. And that's what I've learned. And that's great. It's liberating for me. So I'm just going to start transferring all the things that I've done on YouTube, you know, summarizing 12 Rules for Life by Jordan, P. Peters Jordan B. Peterson, uh, the memoirs that I write, all the things I write, I'm just going to put them here because I think Instagram is a powerful, powerful platform um, and technology to help people interface with these topics and connect like-minded communities and um, change people for the better. You know, and I've been changed by people that I, that I, that I absorb through, through social media and through this technology. And I'm going to now use it as a powerful tool that it is instead of, you know, documenting photography. As nice as that is, and as nice as it is to share personal stories, uh, I don't feel interested in doing that anymore. And I feel like there's, there's much more to do. And some of you may think, well, who cares? Okay. I care. That's why I'm talking about this. And you'll see um, how much uh, more impactful it will be. I envision it to be. I know it will be. So that's what's going to happen. Won't be every day, but it'll be consistent. And uh, I look forward to it. So maybe hopefully that inspires one person to, to go through this process themselves of uh, challenging themselves and trying to change their psychology towards social media and improve it, whether that be detoxing yourself or whether that be going all in. Because I've learned a lot and I'm thankful for, the, for this process that I've gone through. And I'm very glad I did it. And um, it's, it's helped me find this, uh, this liberating feeling of just being ridden of, of, of insecurity and, and vulnerability and fear. And so for those of you who are watching this on YouTube and Facebook, Instagram is at Alex Sandalis. You can watch it there and you guys are going to see, I'm going to document all these snippets that I'm doing on YouTube. The, 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 I have a Dear Alexander memoirs that I write. I'm going to put all my thoughts on philosophy, psychology, behavior. I do, I'm doing a summary of Sapiens uh, at the moment. I'm off to view my Instagram story. Uh, doing something a little different, so not putting that on YouTube. So that's some exclusive uh, little content for you that hopefully should entice some people to be curious about learning about the history of human mankind. And that's it. Go over to Instagram, Alex Sandalis. If you like it, great. If you don't, great. See you there.